In this video, we will be making the basic flat ears for the basic teddy bear at Don's Loom Knitting. For this project, you will need a pair of scissors, a craft needle, a loom hook, pink 26 peg nifty knitter long loom, and loom clip, and also yarn. The nifty knitter products are available on the internet. In this video, which for is a deer, you will be incorporating a tail, you'll do the back and forth straight stitch, decrease left and right, and bind off the final peg. Okay, now we're going to do a flat ear. And this is done simply by going around the edges with the e-loop stitch. I'm just going to make it uh, uh, three pegs, so you have the extra on each side, but uh, the three pegs are the main part. And then you go around the outside and, and come back in after you've done that e-loop stitch. And when you come back, and every time subsequent, you're going to use the straight stitch. And this, you'll see why I said we're only using the uh, three because as you wrap around that end and you bring the other one in, this just becomes an edge piece and doesn't really uh, count. When I go around this end and come back, I can just do both of those stitches. But now I'm going to come back and I'm going to incorporate this tail. And uh, then bring it up through and then back to the inside. Then I'm coming back across again. As I come around this side, I'm going to do both of these. As I come back in, but then I'm going to take this tail and I'm going to bring it on to the next one so I keep it just one row ahead of I'm doing it and back to the inside. And uh, then I'm just keep right on going, and this brings another one across this peg that I'll go to next with that tail to incorporate it, and around and back through both of these, and and then put the loop over both of them. back and incorporate the tail up here. And bring it back to the inside. Now I'm going to take that tail and I'm going to bring it back, only this time I'm going to just wrap it around and around to completely incorporate it. This tail is, since it's a flat ear, 
is something that's uh, you're not, not, not going to be able to hide on the inside. So if there's a little bit left over, you can cut it off. And then, on the sense, I go around this twice. Now we're going to finish off the uh, flat ear for the teddy bear. This particular ear is going to be for uh, a deer, a little uh, three-point buck. Uh, and I've gone around both of those. On the end, I'm going to come back now and uh, shorten this <coughs> on this end. So we put both uh, loops across the one peg decreasing it one peg on that side and then we'll come across and just continue it to right on just as if we didn't have that one peg and then when I come back again I'll shorten it on the other side so across both of those and and back. And across both of these. And then I'll come back and shorten it over here. Take it off the one peg and Put it on the next one and then bring the underneath one over. And now we just have the the one peg that really counts. Let's go, let go across and bring it back. of the way off so back to this peg warm one over to this peg and bring this one back over down to one peg so we can cut it off out here a little ways and then bring it up uh, at least three times uh, can't no more than four times because you can't tighten it if you do more than that so that's the second one and that's the third one And that's the fourth one. Now we can take it off and we can tighten it up. Uh, tighten it up from down here and then uh, and then come back to the end and tighten it there. And it'll slide, but sometimes it's a little hard if you've done four. four. Okay, and then tighten that up and now you've got your uh, your ear that we can just uh, attach. I bring this down and uh, down to here and wrap it around and tie it and then and then I can use this to attach it. I am so grateful to uh, my wife Miriam and to Marcia and so many others for the great help.